Uh, speaking of controversial figures who have taken a stand, I, like, like, like who, who knows where we're about to go with this one? Uh, Monique, another fellow comedian of yours, comedian, uh, finally got her Netflix special. Not sure what she got paid for it, but Monique went out there and she 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 asked the world to boycott Netflix. Bold, bold, bold move. She was pissed and insulted and felt disrespected about an offer of $500,000 to do a Netflix special when she had so many accolades and had sold out so many shows in so many arenas and headlined so much stuff on her own. And she's like, look, y'all you, you, went and gave Amy Schumer $13 million. You, you, you're giving Chris Rock 20 million. You're giving Dave Chappelle 20 million. And y'all come to me with this nasty offer? What, what is your thoughts? Because again, that's another person who said, yo, I don't care. I, I'm going to put it out there. Is she considered a, 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 a hero in that community? Because that was a very risky move she took. Yeah, you know, another, you know, full disclosure, I know Monique. You know, we started together. So this is a person that I've done hole in the wall comedy clubs with in Atlanta when she was married to her first wife, when her set was uh, mainly about him. Uh, but, uh, you know, that that's the nature of the beast, though. You know, it's unfortunate that we live in a society where we're still considered the first at things. You know, the first person to get paid this much for something, the first person to win this award, the first person to coach this team. So, you know, that narrative is, is unfortunate, but that's the society we live in. I think that, um, you know, I do agree that uh, Monique was very courageous to stand up for herself. Hopefully it worked out for her in the end because she ended up working with them anyway. And I think if anything is to be said by that is sometimes you do have to take on the establishment. And, uh, and, and if you stay the course and, 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 and stay true to yourself, things will come back and work out because they, for her, they did. They, she came back and she did a Netflix special. Okay, well, just to piggyback off of what we were just talking about, do you think she was canceled? I do think Monique was canceled to a degree. I do think Monique was canceled. I do think that there was a, a, a conscious effort. Uh, how else can you explain it? I mean, you, you're talking about somebody who won an Oscar, man. An Correct. Oscar, someone who won an Oscar, someone who is uh, in basketball would be considered a triple threat. She's an actor. She's a comedian. You know, uh, uh, she's just she uh, writes. Uh, she's a writer, writer, motivational speaker. Yes. You know, how, how else can you equate her just dropping off the face of the 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 the, 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 the showbiz planet? I mean, yeah, I, I do think she was uh, that that was put out there on her like that. Yeah, but that, that proves my point of what I was just saying is when you stand on your truth, when, when, when you are willing to go out there on, on, on a, a, a limb, when nobody else agrees with you and you willing to take that chance. Now, now here we go. You just said it out your own mouth. She was canceled. And because it was important for her to stand on her truth, whether it was about the type of comedy she was doing or the compensation for the comedy she was doing based on my credits. Like you said, I, I, I won an Academy Award. I, I've sold out shows all over the world. But, but, I but, 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 the, but the fundamental difference, the Go ahead. fundamental difference between, the fundamental difference between her and Dave Chappelle, Dave made the decision to step back. She wanted to keep working. She put it out there that she was trying to work. You never saw Dave come out and say, hey, man, they won't give me a special. They won't give me a TV show. They're not putting me in these movies. They're not. He never did that. So there's a big difference between her and Dave Chappelle. She wanted these things. She uh, led a movement against Netflix because they were being unfair to her. You know, according to her, she felt mistreated. Dave never did that at all. So I hope you can see that difference. There's a big difference in the road Dave traveled and the road Monique traveled. 
Okay, so 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 let me give it back to you the way you told me. You said Dave is in a position financially to travel the road that he chose to travel because they cannot cancel him. They can't take food off his table at this point. And my point is, I don't know. I don't know how much Mo Monique had in the bank when she decided that she was going to call out Netflix. I don't know if, if she could support her family for the rest of her life based on the earnings prior to her taking that stand. I, but for her, whether she ever ate in that town again, it was important to point out something that she deemed as unfair. It, it, whether it's gender bias, color bias, even if I never eat again, y'all are trying to, 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 I know I'm going to be canceled be, be, beyond, uh, uh, for saying Netflix is, is not paying me what they're paying all of the other comedians out there. I know I'm going to be shunned even in the African-American community for talking out about Tyler Perry, talking out, out against Oprah Winfrey, who is beloved, talking out against uh, Lee Daniels. But for her, she was fighting for her truth. So, so, so I'm just going to your original point because you're like, yo, Sean, they couldn't stop Dave Chappelle from eating. They, they, they can't do nothing to him now. And, and I've always looked at it. It wasn't about now. It was about them taking a stand whether they ever made a dime again. It was important to do it their way. So I don't know if she but had would you, but, but Would you say there's a difference? And I'm enjoying this conversation with you. And I hope so people I. are getting I hope people are getting enjoyment out of it because you know we've had some funny points, we've made some fun, but we're, we're we're on a topic now that I feel like needs to be discussed. And a lot of times our people in particular tune out when it comes to these type of things or what have you, and they need to pay attention to this. But when you say there's a difference, Sean, if I, if, if if there was a party being thrown, big party being thrown, and you wanted to go to that party. You felt like you were entitled to go to that party and you didn't get invited. And you went out and you said, hey, you got petition. Hey, I don't want nobody to go to this party because they didn't invite me. Out of all the things I've done for this company, they left me off the invitation list. And you went out and you made a big stick about it. And as a result of you making that big stick about it, those people at that party started making calls saying, hey, don't let Sean in this party. Don't let Sean in that party. Don't let Sean in this party. Me, on the other hand, I could care less whether I, I go to the party or not. In fact, they might have sent me an invitation. I said, I, I don't want to go to the party. I, I, I just, I don't want to go to the party. But I don't go out and cause a stink. I don't go out and tell people, hey, don't go to that party because I'm not going. I, and I, I, you know, do this, do that, do this, do that, that. I just say, hey, I don't want to go to the party. And then I make my own party. I come back and make a smaller party and I start inviting people. Isn't there a difference? We both didn't go to the party but it's under different circumstances and there are different repercussions as to us not going to that, that party. party. You, see the, you see the line I'm drawing? Yes, you, I do. You, you, see, you, you see where I'm going? You see where oh, I'm going with this? It, it, it's, it, it's an amazing analogy and I'm glad you thought of it in, in real time. I, it's, I, I see the difference between the two. You, you summed it up perfectly. But that's only one point we were discussing. I think that I was fighting initially, or my, 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 my disagreement was where you started the conversation about Dave and you said, look, they can't do anything to this man because he's paid already. What are they going to do to him? He has the money. He's got the accolades. He's got the fan base. And that but is I want you to, but, but I want you to understand, I don't mean to cut you off, but I want you to understand the context and what, what I was, the, the context, let's, because I said that, but I said that in context. Okay. And I said, and I said that here's the context. I preference that. I, the reason I said that is because I used me and other comedians that are out here trying to get to where he is. Yes. You understand yes. what I'm saying? Yes. So yes. what I'm saying is that, and, and, and I'm being real with you. I'm still out here grinding to take care of my family. You understand what I'm saying? 
if, if I got a call saying I couldn't work anymore in this town, it would affect me tremendously. It might shape my thoughts. It might cause me to take a different course of action. I'm saying Dave Chappelle has reached a point to where he doesn't have to take that into consideration. If they canceled all his gigs, if he couldn't sell any more tickets or whatever, whatever, he'd still be in a different situation than me. So that has to come into effect with your thinking as a human being, whether you're a revolutionary, whether you, you know, you, 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 you're outspoken. When it comes to your, because when the mafia comes at you, you might not care about your life, right? You might say, hey, man, they could kill me. But if you got a wife, you got kids, you got mother, whatever, now you have to take those things into consideration as to how you want to move forward. You understand? Dave doesn't have to take those, those things into consideration. That's the point I was making, is that they can't cancel him to the point to where he has to take those things into consideration. I, do, I, I, I don't believe that. Based on what he said and based on his actions, I don't believe that. I, I, I couldn't agree with you more. I, I think that our only crossroad is, is, is that is today. I don't know financially where he was back in okay well, you agree. we're in agreement with that we're in okay agreement with that, that. that's we're that's my that. that's the point i'm just trying to make when he took that stand it was a bold stand when muhammad yeah, yeah, said totally i agree. refuse to go over invite uh and fight the Viet Cong, he's on top of the world financially i don't know that he was in a position to 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 take that stand but he took it anyway so i you you brought up some great analogies i i i think that that but he took that. He, but but he took that stance, and I, and I want to make this clear to, to 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 your audience. He took that stance himself. He didn't take that stance to the detriment of anybody else. You understand? He didn't come out and say, and I want you to understand it. Hey, who, who are we talking? Are we talking, I'm Dave, talking about Dave Chappelle? I'm talking okay. about Dave Chappelle. He took that stance on himself. Yes. And it was relegated to himself. There weren't any repercussions where he took the stand saying, and I'm using Kanye as an example. He didn't say, hey, man, these Jewish writers are trying to get me to put on dresses and, you know, Jewish people or white people ought to be ashamed of themselves. We got to stop this. We got to stand up. That would have yielded a whole different type of repercussions. The stance that he took is that, this is what's right for me. And if I can't do it my way, then I won't do it at all. That he didn't draw the irony. Uh, 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 he didn't draw the the uh, what do you call it when somebody draws something that uh, uh, the raft. He didn't draw the the raft of Hollywood on his back. Then what he's doing now, we're talking about transgenders. When he went on uh, 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 Saturday Night Live and the Jews got upset. He's doing those things now. So there are two different type of stances or, 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 or behaviors that he took. The earlier one that you're talking about was relegated to himself. And you can't get mad at a person for their personal choice of what they will and will not do. What he's doing now, because you keep saying now, the 2020, it's a different type of stance that he's taking now. One that could warrant cancellation. In fact, that word is being thrown around with him. So what I was saying to you is what he's doing now that warrants cancellation, in a sense, I'm saying they can't really cancel day. That's what I'm saying, if that makes sense. I mean, I, I hope, I, hope I, 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 I cleared that up. It makes perfect sense. And I would agree with you wholeheartedly. Today, no, I don't think they can cancel him. He, he, even, even if uh, he never, ever he, he does another movie, does another TV show. People went out to, to, to Ohio during the pandemic to see this man in his backyard. Dave will find a, a, a Dave is just so far out there. He exactly. will find a way to perform for an audience and they will find a way to go see him. So and that's his first love. That's what I'm saying to you. He loves that more than anything else. So that's you and I, button it up on the same page. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.